It is my distinct pleasure now to introduce uh, Dr. Reza Bastian. He is the Dean of, of Engineering at the Bournes College of Engineering at University of California, Riverside. Thank you. I must admit that every time I see Ali or we deal with various issues, I'm more impressed with the dedication he has to the sustainability. His dedication goes beyond the region, it goes beyond the city, it, go, it basically involves the entire state. And this dedication has been recognized by numerous awards that he has received. The latest one, which happened about three weeks ago, was in the city of Riverside, where Governor Schwarzenegger also attended, and he received the highest award for the, by the Water Keepers Association. With that brief introduction, I would like to introduce and ask Ali to come to the podium. Thank you. One of the very exciting projects of GIVE is called Green Valley Initiative. Uh, this project is an economic development initiative that started a little over a year ago. The basis of Green Valley Initiative and why Green Valley Initiative started, the first reason was the leadership of Inland Empire recognizing a problem that is root of many, many other problems is the imbalance of people and jobs here in the Inland Empire. Currently, for every four people in Inland Empire, there is one job. Compared to Orange County and Los Angeles County, for every four people, there are two jobs. Big difference. And this imbalance it's the root of many, many other problems. For example, pollution, waste of energy, waste of time, health issues. Uh, our average inland em empire resident has to spend three to five hours in the car every day. And the list goes on and on and on. Education is a big problem. The fact that people instead of being able to spend time with their family and children and community involvement, they have to sit in the car. We have projections that in the next 15 to 20 years, there will be 2 million new residents in Inland Empire. Within the two counties of Riverside and San Bernardino, we're going to increase our population by 50%. And this growth that we're experiencing in California it's primarily internal growth. There are statistics that confirm the fact that our immigration from other states and other countries are almost identical to the rate of deaths here in the state of California. So everything that we have experienced, the growth that we have experienced and is being projected is primarily internal growth. Our families, your children and your grandchildren and so it really, the fact is that there is no stopping of this growth. This growth will happen. So recognizing the fact that this growth will happen. And the thirdly, the fact that as we speak, there is a major movement globally, uh, which is clean technology revolution. Some people call it the clean technology revolution, some green technology revolution, which is something that was predicted many, many, many years ago. Vice Minister Fuller, he predicted what was going to happen. This is over 50 years ago, before there was color TVs. And the fact that as human being and as human family, we, are, we need to start looking for opportunities where we can do more with less. Because the same thing that is happening here in the Inland Empire, it's happening all over the world. In fact, there are projections that uh, next several decades, we're going to add 3 billion people to the population of Earth. 
And so at the same time, our resources are dwindling. So we need to find ways to do more with less. And to me, uh, and uh, that's really what green technology or clean technology is all about. It's really not what sometimes is misunderstood as being extreme environmentalist. And that's what Green Valley Initiative is all about. Recognizing these three factors, we want to, as a region, the two counties of Riverside and San Bernardino, to come together in a collaborative fashion, which includes five group of stakeholders, our governmental officials, leaders, political leaders, our business leaders, our community leaders and community organizations, grassroots organizations, our academics, our universities and colleges and uh, leaders uh, uh, such as Dr. Abbasian who uh, recognized the importance of uh, the renewable energy and importance of that uh, type of engineering, sustainable approaches and he has some wonderful uh, projects right now in the works. And uh, so the group of uh, stakeholders also include our Native Americans that have a very, very important presence here in, in the Inland Empire. So these are the five groups that have come together in a collaborative way and on a regional basis and focused on environmental sciences and green technology. The way that Green Valley Initiative is going to approach uh, our economic development plan is to look at what this region can bring to the table. We don't need to be everything to everybody because environmental sciences and green technologies are a lot of different things. There, there is renewable energy is just one of those. Green building is another. Water, issues related with water treatment, issues related with uh, waste to energy, and how we, we deal with recycling and treatment of waste. So these are all different fields of uh, uh, green technology and clean technology. But what we need to do as a region to look at uh, the areas that we can compete. For example, Inland Empire is and has probably the most advanced logistic warehousing and distribution transportation system in United States, if not in the world. Uh, some of you may already know that 50% of all the imports that come to U United States actually right now are coming through Inland Empire. And this is a very, very important asset for this region because 60%, this is a fact, 60% of everything that we use, we consume, is the cost of the transportation. 60%. So if we can be competitive in that uh, uh, transportation, that's our advantage and that's our competitive advantage. Uh, it is my honor to introduce to you our keynote speaker, Dr. David L. Goodstein. Dr. Goodstein is a professor of physics and applied physics at Caltech. He has been on the faculty for more than 35 years. He has served on and chaired numerous scientific and academic panels. He is a founding member of the Board of Directors of California Council on Science and Technology. During the 1980s, he was director and host of the Mechanical Universe and Educational Television series that has been used by millions of students all over the world. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Goodstein to come forward and we all welcome you here, Dr. Goodstein, to Riverside County, City of Corona.